Okay, guys, um, we just finished training and um, I'll show you something to do after training. I fold my knee so that you can watch along and I'll talk along while I do it. So I got lots of habits that I do when I'm training. Um, so some people talk about good habits and bad habits and when we talk about good habits, we think about things like uh, eating well, going to bed at a reasonable hour, uh, not drinking too much, not eating too much fast food. When we talk about bad habits, we talk about the opposite. We talk about things like uh, over drinking, overeating, not exercising, watching too much TV, spending too much time on social media. And those things are obviously bad habits. But what about no habits at all? If you've got no habits at all, if your life is like all over the camp and some weeks you train really hard, and other weeks you don't. And some months you train like a beast, and then you take three months off, and then you've got no habit at all. And if you've no habit at all, it's almost as bad as having bad habits because that means you're never consistent and you never improve. So if you're like that, you become frustrated with training very easily. So it only takes a few weeks to get out of that habit of training, and then suddenly when you go back, you're not as good as you used to be, you're not as fit as you used to be, you're not as sharp as you used to be, and you become frustrated and, and irritated about training. Um, and so when you're out of the habit, it tends to stick as your new habit. Being out of the habit of training tends to be your new habit, not going training. So that's having no habits at all. So I got little habits like folding my gi after training, having my stuff prepared and ready to go out the door to training, and preparing my got a shake to take before training I'm going to make sure that I make that and get that ready half an hour before if I've got um, particular tribe training that night no gi gi whatever it is if I need tape for my hands I make sure I have all of that in advance and if I don't have all of that in advance my, my training's going to be a mess and maybe I won't even bother going right so good habits help you to train and the habit of training is the most important thing you can have because most time when people people talk to me about getting frustrated getting out of the habit of training they come to me and they ask me, like, how do you stay motivated for training? And the short answer is, is I am almost never motivated to train. I don't have some magic motivation pill to give you. And I don't think anybody I know who's like at an advanced level, at a black belt level or whatever it is they're doing, I don't think any of them are motivated to train. Every now and again, they've got an event, a competition that they are motivated for, they're excited about, and they need to keep showing up for training. But those people who have been training 10, 15, 20 years, they haven't remained motivated for 10, 15, or 20 years. What they are in is in a habit. They're in a habit and a routine, and routine is good. Okay, sometimes routine can be bad. Like I said, if, you, if your routine is to go drinking every Friday and uh, not get up out of bed until four o'clock every Saturday, it sounds like a lot of fun sometimes. Everybody needs a blowout from time to time, but if that's your routine, if that's your habit, that's obviously a negative habit. But if your habit is get out of bed on a Saturday morning, come training, come to the competition training session, and I do that no matter what happens, suddenly that starts to creep into other areas of your life because now your Friday night becomes important. Well, it's important now that I have a good Friday night, a healthy Friday night, because I need to get out of bed on Saturday morning. And it's really important for me to say, now I've got two days of good habits. I just came out of the idea of I always train on Saturday, no matter what. And I make myself the best, give myself the best opportunity to train on a Saturday. So, look, that's habits for me. That's motivation for me. Um, hopefully, I helps you out. I know a lot of people, they're not asking.